What's up guys and welcome back to the infamous project going right back into some more DIY on the 1988 Cali coupe and I'll give you guys one guess right now on what I'm going to be working on today and well if you guessed headliner then you are absolutely correct so somebody actually called me out on it in the video when I was doing the test drive after I'd first got the suspension and the new wheels on the car they're like oh when are you going to address that saggy headliner Fair enough, I'd done everything else in the interior. Well, why wouldn't you fix the headliner? That is pretty much coming down. And it looks like that somebody's already attempted the repair. So today we're gonna go through and actually switch it up. I got some suede fabric here. I got some headliner adhesive, and we're gonna go ahead and try and recover this headliner on our own. So I'm kind of multitasking, right? You can see, uh, depending on which video goes up first, doing the whole paint your engine bay with the motor still in the car. So I'm kind of halfway through getting this ready and doing the filming for that. But there you go. If you haven't seen this video, make sure you check that out or wait for it to come out, depending which video comes first. I don't think I need to explain to you guys on how to get your headliner out of the car. You know, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna have to take the dome light out. If you guys got the little map light, AKA penis light, that uh, some people like to call it, then you'll get the trim pieces that are along the upper side here on both sides, so on and so forth. Then you'll be able to successfully pull this guy out like this. So you can see here, it almost looks like canvas and you can see these big pockets of where it's been sagging and um, yeah doesn't look so good this is kind of like you can see where the it's faded which is so weird because you know a headliner really doesn't see that much sun and well apparently whatever type of fabric was used in here was not the greatest so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off There's still foam under here that is Actually, really not that bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel all this like that. Hold the camera with one hand and play with the headliner with the other. There we go. The old fabric is off. That's pretty easy. So if we come over here, Grab our new products. In fact, might have just turned this into our makeshift work working table. And what I've got is some 3M headliner adhesive. And I'd probably recommend that you guys use this or anything else that you are sure, number one, is good for fabric. And number two, that can withstand heat, especially if you're in a climate like Texas. And fabric and foam, that's the other one. Because, well, there is foam under here. There's the factory foam and I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with it. You know, and here is our new fabric. And I got this off of Amazon. This was um, 30 bucks. And I think it's a 60 by 54 sheet of suede. And let's kind of give you guys an idea again doing some crazy one-handed maneuverings. In fact, let me set the camera up. So in all honesty, I've only ever done this once before and I did it in my lightning. And amazingly enough, that suede, other than at the very back near the rear glass, um, it started to come off a little bit, but I did that back in like 07, when I first dyed the whole interior black and did like the Expedition center console mod. That was my first attempt. I think I had like a clothing steamer or a hair dryer or something because there's actually a lot of contours um, or more rounded stuff around, especially like the overhead console piece. And it was a little tricky, but I managed to do it. 
and I feel like I'm going to be able to manage to do this one just as well. So, you know what? It's one of those scenarios and why not just go for it? And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you make stuff look easy. Well, you know, when you're editing, you know, things do seem to go pretty easy when you see it, you know, final production on video. I do try and show you guys as many of the hiccups and the challenges that I face as I go along as well because I want to keep a sense of reality because, well, some stuff isn't as easy as it looks. And while well, changing the evaporator core on the Mrs. Uh, E90 BMW, that's a first time job for me and that one definitely sucks. But um, we're not here to talk about BMWs. We're here to do Fox body stuff and do some headliner stuff. So this is pretty straightforward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of line up the edge sort of to one side, actually two edges. I'm gonna do kind of this side and the back side fairly close. Like I'm not trying to line stuff up exactly because I, I'll trim it off after it's glued down. And what that's going to do is it's going to save me a little bit of extra fabric on the front and the back. Now, you never know when you might need a little bit of uh, material. If um, I'd got a little bit bigger of a piece, I bet you there'd be enough to do the sun visors. Um, not going to get into that because, well, I don't, I can sew, but I can't use a sewing machine. I'm not that talented, guys. So we're not going to worry about that. We'll get the headliner done first. I did actually contemplate getting a gray suede. That is an option. I'll put the link to where I got this off Amazon. And because the carpet's black and it's the headliner, I just figured it'd be better to get black suede. And that, and if I screw it up, black is more likely to hide some of my mistakes. But let's see, my confidence level is maybe around a seven and a half out of 10 on this, but let's get going because I don't think it's really going to take that much time. So again, 3M headliner adhesive, read the instructions. So it says, you know, it's full of solvents, should be 65 to 95 degrees. Well, we're good. Today's actually probably around 85. Shake can well, hold can four to eight inches from headliner material surface. Now you got to apply it to both surfaces. So that's one thing that you guys got to keep in mind. So we're going to be spraying this and we're going to spray that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do this half first, and then we'll go ahead and kind of fold it. And then we'll do the other half. So within 30 seconds to 15 minutes. So we got quite the window of opportunity between spraying it down and you want it to get tacky and then they want you to apply really good pressure. So what I'll probably do is uh, I'm gonna go grab a razor blade. So we'll initially get it on. I'll trim kind of the edges a little bit better. And then you know what? I'll probably just put it right down on the ground and start putting pressure and working all these contours. I think this might be one of those cans that actually doesn't have the ball in it. So, big piece of cardboard for two reasons. Number one, it's going to keep me from overspraying onto the actual suede. Number two, I'll put it down first before I put the headliner down on the concrete because, well, the concrete is dusty. I really need to invest in getting these floors epoxied, but it's just kind of one of those expenses that you keep putting aside because you keep wanting to buy Mustangs and Mustang parts. Oh yeah, look at that. comes out like silly string. You guys remember having silly string battles as a kid? All right, so now 
the actual headliner. All right, 30 seconds to 15 minutes. So I guess I'll talk for a minute or so, and then I'll start kind of dealing with this. In fact, maybe I'll go grab some gloves, even though it's black suede. Um, if I get glue on my hands, it'll be easier to wipe them off a glove than it would be trying to rub it off my hands, and then well, you guys know how it gets, so. Oh, a little bit more right here. Always make sure you get really good coverage on the edges because that's where stuff is most likely going to lift on you. It's hilarious. 30 seconds to 15 minutes. So I'm just going to fold this over again. Try not to really. Oh yeah. And what I'm going to do is starting around the center, you know, where I sprayed everything down. Just working my way out. And you know what, you can lift it up if you need to. Yeah, this glue does its job. Want to make sure that you kind of cup, follow that contour of the headliner. You now we got these creases. Again, you don't want to make sure you don't have any glue on your hand. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna flip it around. Peel it back to where we see some glue. And this stuff is really sticky, guys. Like, once you commit, you're committed. So make sure that you're like I said, fold it and just kind of pull it. It's almost like applying vinyl. Let it get its tacky on. Make sure our hands are clean. Now I can't stress enough, when they say you need to spray both surfaces, I do remember, I think when I tried to do the lightning, like, oh, you know, one surface versus both surfaces, does it really matter? Yes, it matters, so keep that in mind. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this guy on. It's all right, you wanna kinda hold things up. Start in that middle. You, you want to get an extra set of hands to make sure that you're, you know, spreading everything out. Probably wouldn't hurt. Just want to make sure that I got enough glue on the back side, which looks like I do. All right. 
right, so now going to lay that cardboard down on the ground. We'll get this on the ground. We'll get it trimmed out and just make sure we got good pressure everywhere. One thing is, you gotta remember these corners have some angles on them. So you wanna make sure that you get a good bond. You might get a little bit of a natural crease right here and that's completely fine. That's normal as per your factory headliner. See, there was a little bump there. I just grabbed, pulled it up, lifted it, stretched it, and pushed it back down. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of a void here. So, we gotta go in, go in and do some, some work. You know, I stretched things too far. You can see now the glue is pulled up on the foam. So we just pull back as far as we need to. Probably right around here. I'm just gonna go right to here, okay? And we're just gonna redo this section. just this curvature right here you know I didn't get it all the way here I probably pulled it too far this way and there was just too much going on in that area careful when you're spraying guys and remember how I left that little bit of extra fabric there well that's giving me a really good little buffer right now to make sure I don't ac accidentally go over and spray my suede all right so we'll just give that a few moments all right now this time Make sure I want to get right to that edge. Make sure we don't have any pockets down there. All right, guys, so there it is. It is glued, trimmed. I can probably do a little bit more trimming. I'm just gonna let it sit for at least 24 hours. I'll let it cure up, and I'll fix a couple of those little jagged marks that I made with the knife around the dome light and the uh, map light there and clean up the edges and everything else. But it turned out really, really good and in under an hour in reality. So quick, little, easy fix that you guys can do in your Fox body and you can upgrade this material. You can use any type of suede. You know, they have a tan, they have black, they have gray. 
You can maybe try and go for an Alcantara, or even if you want, you can go for just a traditional headliner fabric. The key here again is I got a headliner fabric that already came with foam on the back. And even though that there was already foam left underneath the old headliner fabric, I still wanted this because number one, you don't know how much foam you might rip up. It gives a nice buffer. Number two, it's actually really good to help with the gluing process. So make sure that you get the padded headliner fabric. Again, the links will be down in the description. Again, you guys can do this from the comfort of your own home, garage, outside, on the patio, on a nice day, whatever you like. A little bit of material from Amazon and some 3M headliner adhesive. I got that from O'Reilly's. I think you can even get it from like Home Depot, Walmart. But um, again, all the links will be down in the description so you guys can get these. And of course, installation is the reverse of removal. I will do a final, I think, general recap and update on the Cali Coupe once I finish up these last few things. And once I get that engine bay all cleaned and painted up. So until next time, we'll see you guys here on the Infamous Project. Bye. <laughs>